Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 20th. So, October 20th. What do we got? The Knight of Cups just came a flying out. So the Knight of Cups, this is somebody putting in effort to start a romance or to keep a relationship going. Something, Somebody that is putting in effort, all right? This is about a relationship. This is a romantic, okay? Ooh. Yikes. Okay, so we have the Tower, the King, Wheel of Fortune reversed, and the King of Wands. So... This is some sort of uh, shock. Okay, this is a shock. Then we have somebody here that is very confident. This is a very confident individual who takes action. They see an exciting opportunity and they really go for it. It's like, boom. And this is boom. It's like, wow. I mean, this is your wow that I saw the other day. So, hmm. But this Wheel of Fortune reversed, this, it may not be meant to be. Okay, there could be something here that is not so fortunate. Okay, there's some sort of something that is unfortunate here. Could be a false sense of security. So we could have a romantic coming in. Somebody that is very passionate sees an opportunity. This person could see an opportunity to um, get laid, honestly. Um, they could come across as very charming. This is Prince Charming, and this person may be not, not, not be exactly who they say. It could be all false, okay? This could, you know, just be a... Uh, somebody could be taking an approach, you know, via charm, and, you know, they really have one intention. Just, just saying, just saying. I'm not sure this is going to go anywhere. Um... Whew, Ace of Wands reversed. So the Ace of Wands reversed is not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. So something ending as quickly as it starts. Okay. <laughs> Amazing how the shit comes out, huh? Um, this is somebody that is very sneaky, very tricky. This is a trickster. So you could, somebody could have some a Knight of Cups coming into their life. Somebody that that is very smooth. Somebody that is a smooth talker, somebody that presents themselves as very charming. This person is can charm the pants off of anybody. Okay, so this person is very charming. It looks as though they they are very they're they're charming in a manipulative way. Okay, you need to be careful because they may be presenting you with something that is false. Okay, and it's not going to go anywhere. Their intentions are sexual and sexual only. It will not last. There's no fertility here. It will end just as quickly as it starts. Okay, so be very, very, very careful if you are in that predicament. Ooh, loneliness. Loneliness will do that to a person, huh? We got somebody that's going to come out. This is come out. It's like come out of their cave, show themselves. Um, they've been in hermit mode for some time, and they're looking for some sort of interaction. <laughs> so we have somebody here that could get themselves engaged with a false partnership. This is false partnership, okay? And it may it may be very lusty. It may be very exciting. It may be very attractive, but it will not this is i mean it could be a new beginning a death could be a new beginning endings bring new beginnings but um two of pentacles reverse you need to be careful you need to be careful with the two of, this is it could be a poor decision okay this could be a poor decision uh when you get the two of pentacles reverse this could cause upheaval this is lack of balance um and this is too many balls too many balls so <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Um, competition. Competing for attention. Somebody may end up with a choice between two people. Just saying, this is a choice between two, and this is, there is, there's a choice between two here. There's some sort of competition going on. Could be dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini. Uh, Scorpio, 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. We have Scorpio a few times, so Scorpio is pretty prominent here. But this is an opportunity. I mean, this is a very, um, it feels very lusty, this deck. I mean, with this deck and this card, this is a very lusty energy. But there's an opportunity to probably uh, do something with somebody, but it probably, it doesn't look like it will go anywhere. Um, yeah, work together, you know, collaborate, uh, just uh, do something with somebody. Um, whoever you're dealing with, this person is, um, well, this one just happens, it is upright. This is, this is a, I feel like it's coming out of stagnation though with that hermit reverse to getting unstuck from a relationship getting this person that comes into your life if this is a new beginning because death endings can bring new beginnings could bring a new partner in this is this will help you to get unstuck from a past commitment a unrequited love situation or this could turn out to be an unrequited love situation that doesn't lead to commitment we could be dealing with somebody who is still hung up on somebody else. and you, So you do need to be careful here. Be careful here. Somebody could come into contact with somebody in the next, what, 24 hours or two days or three days or four days that, you know, is looking to fill a void of some sort. And they present themselves as Prince Charming in a manipulative way with the with the magician reverse. This person is a trickster. They have tricks up their sleeve. They may not have ending ended something with somebody else because a lover's is a card of choice. And the two of pentacles is a card of choice, which is underneath it. So somebody has to make a choice and be prepared to live with the consequences because this is a card of consequences as well. So I feel like we have somebody here that is about is stepping out of their cave, right? They're stepping out of hibernation, you know, into a situation that could connect them with somebody. And it feels like it's a very sexual manner. It does. It does. It feels like it's a sexual manner and they don't have intentions of it going anywhere. It's like they don't have any intentions of it going anywhere. They're really hung up on somebody else. It's like, but they need some sort of attention. And so they decide that they are going to work with somebody else. And, it, and uh, it's all for the, it's not for any reasons in pertaining to love. Okay. It's it pertaining to um, feeding insecurities, feeding uh, desires with this. It's that's what it's in, that's what it's, what it's in regard regards to. So I do feel as though that we do. This is the ending is a transition. It is a change in partners. This is a change in partners. So we have a we have a we have a partner change in the next couple of days, and I think that happens because somebody has been in a state of suspension. They've been suspension. They've been sacrificing themselves needlessly. You know, probably for an unrequited love situation with somebody that wasn't giving to them. They weren't giving emotional support or they weren't giving attention or they just weren't making them happy. You know, and, and we have and when you don't get any attention from somebody, what happens? You feel start to feel insecure. So I do see insecurities here that are stepping that are uh, coming up to the surface that need to be dealt with. So I feel like we have somebody here that is like uh, deciding to put themselves out, like deciding to, you know, be a part of a competition or to put themselves out there or something like that. Um Somebody, this is tension. Somebody may be, may have some some tension within them that needs to be relieved. Oh, the devil reversed. Ooh, so this is taking back control of a situation, regaining control. So, so that's what we got here. Somebody is about to take back control of a situation um, and go after. I need to receive six of pentacles and it's like I need to receive and this is desires somebody it's like so and this is I saw the desires here it's like somebody has some desires that need to be met so they decide to go out they decide to 
uh, come out of their, this is coming out of the cave, coming off of the mountain, you know, they decide to show themselves, they decide to put themselves out there and open up, you know, to go after, to receive, to receive. It's like, I, 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 I desire something. Somebody has some desires, they decide to make a move of some sort. Um, this is going someplace. Literally, like, somebody could get in, be getting in their car going someplace or being taken somewhere because we have, it looks like we have a driver here. Somebody could be driving somebody somewhere. Um, yeah, things are about to open up. The Four of Pentacles reverse. Somebody's about to open up their horizons, broaden their horizons in some way. Uh, it's, and this really stems from their own insecurities. It's like they need to, they need some attention. It's like they do need some attention of some sort. Um, just, you know, maybe they, maybe we have somebody here that's like, you know, I just want to relax. I want to I wanna overindulge. You know, it, that's what it looks like. It looks like we have somebody here that just wants to have some fun. They may want to go out drinking. See all them cups right there? This is overindulge. This is somebody uh, that sees an opportunity. They could see some see that somebody is drunk, so be careful and take advantage of them. Seriously, be careful. You could have somebody that is very wise that sees somebody overindulging and they take the opportunity to, you know, take advantage because the magician reverse is take advantage of another person. So you absolutely need to be careful. The tower is a false sense of security. Um, be, you could have somebody that comes in to sweep you off your feet with their words. They're very attractive and they're charming. Okay, this person is attractive and charming to you. You will feel like this is this is great. You may see them with uh, beer goggles or something. So be careful. You know, something like that. You need to be careful. This person may see that you uh, have your beer goggles on and they take advantage of that. So just, just be really careful. Um... You need to reevaluate. Sixes are about reevaluation. Six, 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 six. Be careful. There's going to be consequences. There will be consequences for the actions that you take. Um, sixes are, the, are are taking a journey. It's a time of transition as well with sixes and, and reevaluations. When you see six, 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 reevaluate the decisions that you are making. So I think this will be a, a day when you need to reevaluate who you are engaging and giving your energy to because you could get yourself involved with a false sense of security based on lust, based on sexual needs, based on um, the need for attention, you know, to feed your insecurities. Be careful. You, I mean, there's really no love in these cards other than that Knight of Cups, which is... You know, that is somebody that comes in to sweep you off your feet, but then uh, they don't have good intentions with a magician reversed, and it's false. And it's like, it's it's false right from the beginning. Okay, right up here. It's false from the beginning. But, you know, some people, they just, they don't see it because of their own insecurities. So I'm just here to say that you need to be careful. Um, there is an opportunity to come together with somebody in a, some I think this is a sexual union. I do. But it doesn't appear that it's going to lead to love or commitment. This person doesn't have anything stable or solid to offer. It could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an air, uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or even an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It doesn't really matter. Um, it does feel whoever you're dealing with, uh, they don't have anything. They're not looking for a commitment. They're not looking for anything other than sex. But we have could have somebody here that is totally unaware of that because, you know, they're needing some attention. So my advice is to be very careful at this time. Good luck.